Our oceans cover two thirds of the planet and they are home to an incredible variety of life. It is said that over one million species of plants and animals live here and they have adapted to be able to survive in a salt water world. The fish here have specialized cells in their gills to pump out excess salt. Water naturally seeks a chemical balance, which means water constantly moves from inside the fish to the outside ocean water. So fish have to constantly drink water. The only water around, the salt water they swim in. Things work a little differently with the predators of the ocean. Sharks produce a chemical called urea, which spreads throughout their body, counterbalancing the salt in the ocean water surrounding them. This ocean dweller uses a completely different technique. A penguin not only drinks salt water, but leaves all the hard work to a small salt gland. The specialized gland filters the salt water and loads it all into an area near the sinuses. Once there, they sneeze the salt out. All penguins live in the southern hemisphere and they mostly breed on islands, which keeps them safe from predators. When they do form colonies on a mainland, like here on the southern coastline of Africa, they do so in protected bays, away from jackals and caracals. Penguins, the most iconic of the seabirds, cannot fly so they have to ensure their habitat is safe. Marine birds have all sorts of feet, from clawed for a life along rocky shores to webbed for a life in the ocean. These short legs act like an oar and the webbed feet as a paddle, not only propelling the birds quickly, but also allowing them to turn swiftly, making them agile hunters. Penguins may not be able to fly, but their wings make excellent fins underwater. The natural world is all about having the tools to eat well, and of course, to prevent being eaten yourself. So the ability to avoid being detected by your prey is one of the most important tools for survival. Out here on land, it seems as if penguins didn't get the memo about blending in to survive. As striking as it is, black and white seems rather out of place here. But strangely enough, once in the ocean, this is in actual fact their camouflage. Because from above, their black backs blend into the murky depths of the ocean and from below, their white bellies are hidden against the bright surface. This clever adaptation helps them avoid detection from their biggest predator, the great white shark. Penguin chicks don't pop out with the smart tuxedo colouring. They need a warmer, fluffier set of down feathers to insulate them from the icy southern winds. The chicks will eventually start to lose all of their drab plumage and step out with a whole new look. It does mean no food for nearly three weeks though, giving new meaning to being a grumpy teenager. The fossil record places penguins some 60 million years ago, which means the ancestors of these birds survived the mass extinction of dinosaurs. How lucky we are that they have survived through the millennia, still with us, amazing wonders of our planet.